So next in task three, we'll see how to implement a backup for the Azure virtual machine level. So before we start this, let's uh, check um, the deployment has completed that we did in task one. Okay, so this has been completed. So under the uh, recovery services vault, to properties overview and uh, click on backup and here uh, select the option where is your workload running select Azure and uh, what do you want to backup so whether virtual machine Azure file share SQL SAP HANA so I'm going to select a uh, virtual machine and click on backup so here um, it shows default policy so in the default policy it shows backup frequency instant restore so all those things so I'm going to create a new policy and enter the policy name and uh, select the frequency daily and um, set the time to 12 a.m okay and uh, change the time zone Okay, I'm going to select IST and under instant restore retain instant recovery snapshot for two days and leave the other option default and click OK and uh, under virtual machine section click on add and select the VM0 virtual machine and click OK and click on enable backup so let's wait for the backup to be enabled this should take about two minutes okay so the deployment is complete now let's go back to the recovery services vault blade and under protected items click on backup items and then click on azure virtual machine So here um, check the uh, values of backup recheck it shows past and last backup status warning initial backup pending so open this VM0 okay so here click on backup now and accept the default value okay so the backup is in progress now okay this is also completed So we have seen the backup for Azure Virtual Machine.
and uh, in the next task we'll see how to implement the backup at the file and folder level